NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. This program paid for by a grant from RNA Screen Printing, located at 1217 Moravia Street, Newcastle. Today's program was furnished by a grant from the Beanery Depot and Deli, featuring coffee, made-to-order subs, and snacks. The Beanery Depot and Deli in Mahoningtown. And hey, how about that? Another week has passed. And yes, you have it. It's time for this week in North County baseball. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about the league, the enjoyment that it brings to a lot of fans, and being able to get out to the ballpark, Flaherty Field, and just watch a ball game and it's just simply baseball now uh, let's take a look at some of the things going on you know on the 10th there was a battle between Castlewood and the downtown Jacks now uh, this was going to be a great affair and it lived up to all of the expectations Castlewood continued their winning ways by slipping past the Jacks, scoring early and holding on with some fine defensive efforts. They'll see if they can keep up their winning ways and keep the streak alive Monday as they travel to Brady's one to face the Broadhead Bombers. Now, um, you know, we're always hoping to be bring you the best in North County baseball. And um, the, the inclement weather and uh, the way some of the breaks fell have hampered us, but we're hanging in there making sure that you get the best coverage we can bring you here in, at NCTV45. Now, as time rolled on, what did we see? Well, the Broadhead Bombers and Castlewood getting together. And that happened on the 12th. The Broadhead Bombers star Barbie, Bobby Souter. I almost gave him a girl's name. Yeah, the Broadhead Bombers, Bobby Souter, tossed a two hitter, silencing Castlewood bats at Brady's run. Tonight's schedule. Finds the downtown Jags visiting DB Movers at Brady's Run. And Summertime Heroes hosting the Stallions at Flaherty Field. Both games are scheduled for 615. And um, as we move through this, um, this week in North County baseball, you have to appreciate the effort given by these fine young men, some in college, some in high school. They put on some great baseball, and if you haven't been there, why, you're just missing it. Got to get yourself out there, and hey, maybe you're retired. Maybe you're just, uh, your kids are gone. What better to do than go out, watch a little baseball, even if it's three innings. Catch some baseball, go get something to eat at one of our fine establishments, and uh, I always tell you that because that puts a little weekend in your week. Now, we're going to put a little break. As we do this pitching change, we're going to be right back in a flash. Funding for this program furnished by Big Pauly Sports Bar, Long Avenue, Newcastle.
This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing, C. Michael Sad, at themadunit.com. Funding provided by Main Street Clothiers and Tailors, Washington Street, Newcastle. Welcome back to This Week in North County Baseball. And, uh, you know, there's something to be said about getting out to Brady's Run or Flaherty Field and just enjoying the game. Now, when you go, you got to remember this. <laughs> if the skies open up and you don't have a quick way to the car... You're going to get wet. Well, this week, already scheduled, was kind of a break for the guys. And uh, keep in mind, many have part-time jobs, doing some other things. And uh, so scheduled into the week was a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday break. So after Monday's game with Castlewood and the Broadhead Bombers, the skies opened up, and boy did they open up. If you watch NCTV 45 and you caught Four Brothers 45 weather, you know there was a flash flood watch. Everything was all wet, and uh, it made it just a little bit miserable. So in this second segment of This Week in North County Baseball, we're going to take a look at the major leagues. Now, we'll start off with the Battling Bucks, who this weekend are entertaining the Chicago Cubbies, and that's at home. Now, in an affair Friday night that saw so many different things, a guy called out a third, and nobody was on the base. Sleeves being cut because they didn't match the uniform, you know. Tell them at Saks Fifth Avenue, I guess. And many other instances, the Bucks ended up losing 9-5 to five to the Cubbies, who were called the Highlands. Now, over on the reservation, or they were off the reservation, they were in Minnesota, but the Cleveland Indians came up with an 8-1 win against Minnesota. The Spanky Yankees dropped a 7-6 decision to Oakland, while their counterparts in New York, the Mets, were dropping a 7-2 loss to the Washington Nationals. Now, that series continues today, and we always air on Sunday. So, um, you know... Uh, where we're at as we go to the standings let's take a look at the battle and buckos who have found a way to eke in front of the cincinnati reds here comes the march for first place as they're only six games behind the milwaukee brewers the cubs find them two and a half sells two and a half back of the brewers and the cards four and a half back so the mighty buckos on the move now, over in the American League, Cleveland one game back of the Twinkies, which means that that series up there in Minnesota becoming increasingly important, even though the season's young. Now, on uh, Spanky Yankees, they're one game up on Boston. Houston, the Astros are 11 games up on the Rangers. And what seems to be a Texas showdown. The Washington Nationals, 10 up on the Marlins. And out on the West Coast in the National League, you've got the Rockies. They're up one game on the Diamondbacks and one game up on the Dodgers. Now, the San Francisco Giants, while well, they're 17 and a half back as the Padres are 16 back. And uh, the Dodgers probably one game back because they got sick. They went to Cleveland. Couldn't help it. We'll be back with this week in North County Baseball right after we take this break and head into the home stretch. 
Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Mr. Pizza provided a grant for this program. Mr. Pizza, East Washington Street. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. And we're back, and now we've looked at the majors. Now time to look at the, school, the, the standings for this week as of the 17th. Happy Father's Day, by the way. And uh, I guess it's the 18th for North County Baseball. Now, first, let's give you a rundown of the games that could be taking place today moving forward and this being Sunday. Sunday the Downtown Jacks and the Broadhead Bombers get together at Brady's Run. That's a 1 p.m. event and also a 1 p.m. event finds Castlewood and the Summertime Heroes at Flaherty Field. The, uh, the 19th Brady's Run is the place to be as the Summertime Heroes Broadhead Bombers take place on Tuesday, it's Castlewood at the DB Movers. On Wednesday, it is the Downtown Jacks and the Stallions. And then on Thursday, those all at Brady's Run, by the way. On Thursday, Brady's Run is the place for the Broadhead Bombers and the DB Movers. But there is a Thursday game up here at Flaherty Field as the Summertime Heroes and the Downtown Jacks get together at 6 p.m. Then on the 23rd, it's the Stallions taking on the Summertime Heroes. That's at Flaherty Field, and that is a 6-15 start. Now the standings as of the 18th. The Broadhead Bombers at 3-1, tied with the Summertime Heroes at 3-1. Castlewood, they're 3-3. Three DB Movers one and one, the Downtown Jacks one and three, and the Stallions also one and three. Now, um, batting leaders: T. Hughes, first baseman, twelve of bats, he's batting five eighty three, and pitching. That's also Hughes with a one and one and a seven strikeout ERA of zero. Now, um, just a great, great week. Hopefully, it doesn't rain as a lot of games scheduled this week. So make sure you get out to some North County baseball, whether it's down at Brady's Run or Flaherty Field. And I'm Angelo Parada, and that was this week in North County baseball. Don't strike out. Go to the games. We'll see you next week. Funding provided by Four Brothers. Four Brothers in downtown Newcastle. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program.